Is Robinhood easy to use? Can you make money off Robinhood with a little bit of money? Yes! Yes! Today I'm gonna to show you my portfolio that I started about a year ago using Robinhood with limited to almost no investment experience on buying individual stocks and selling individual stocks. So about a year ago, I made an initial investment of $50 into a Robinhood portfolio. How I discovered Robinhood was two reasons. One, some guys at work had started Robinhood accounts and I got a free stock. For free! And they got a free stock if I joined. The second reason, which I really like, if you know anything about finances, if you watch anything about this channel, is I like saving money. And Robinhood was one of the leading companies that offered zero-based commission trading. I mean, they didn't charge you to, to buy and sell stock. At the time, companies like E-Trade, Charles Schwab, Fidelity, Vanguard was all charging commission trade fees. So those were the two things that really attracted me to Robinhood. And I'm gonna pull up my portfolio and show you the pros and cons and the simple and practical reasons why I use Robinhood and a couple of reasons why I don't use Robinhood to do research and find out data on companies that I'm looking to purchase into. Here's the main screen of my portfolio. And probably one of the first things you notice is, wait a minute. This guy is broke. No, I don't have a million dollar portfolio yet. I only have roughly $3,000. I started this portfolio about a year ago with a $50 initial investment in Robinhood. Since then, I've added roughly about $5 a week. Sometimes I've added a little more here. Recently, I've added a little bit more money. But I've been able to make a little money off Robinhood just based off that initial investment and making smart decisions, looking at companies that have either good dividends or I bought them in a low period of time and was able to sell them and turn a profit. A quick overview of the main screen on the right here where it has some of my stocks. You can set where it has the amounts, you can set last price, your equity, today's return, total return, have it selected for today's return. You can kind of see Coca-Cola is near $15, total investment down to Mesa Airlines was $55. Another thing you look at is it gives you your one day return. So up here at the top where I've highlighted roughly 3.6%, $108 roughly is what my account earned today. One week, time frame was a little over 10%, close to $300. One month, uh, shy of 8%, $218, and so forth. A couple things on the main page you also have is it'll give you news articles on particular stocks that you own or stocks that is associated with companies you own. For instance, this is got a Ford article, so it gives me a Ford stock, uh, sometimes GE, uh, General Electric or General Motors, um, Pepsi, if I have Coke, since I have Coke stock, Pepsi article may show up. Another thing on the main page you can search for that is good for just pulling up basic information. Say if I want to search 3M, I select 3M symbol, and it's going to give me tasks for healthcare supplies, industrials, and materials, and it gives me the basic overview of GM for some basic information on the company, earnings, and some news. The con, or one of the downsides to Robinhood, is you don't have the data, you don't have the analytics if you're trying to do extensive research on a company, which is primarily why I use Robinhood is just to buy and sell individual stocks or ETFs, and that's it. I use other websites for more in-depth information and research before I make that decision. So back, if you go to 3M, you want to see a company that's similar to 3M, as far as you know, 3, 3M does a huge amount of products, um, produce a large amount of stuff from basic industrial materials to healthcare supplies. Most recently with COVID-19, you know, the M95 mask. So you click on healthcare supplies, it'll bring you up a whole list of similar companies that may have products related to um, healthcare supplies industries or G, uh, 3M, such as Johnson Johnson, Danaher. So if you go back to the main site, Again, it's, it's very simple. It's very practical for just doing buying and selling stock. Another thing that you can use is if you come over here to accounts, this will get give you your total portfolio value and then your current buying power, which I have roughly $14 available to make purchases through Robinhood. Another thing I'll show you is if you come to account, this will give you options, your banking, uh, you can add several different banking accounts, checking, savings, and where you transfer your money to and from Robinhood. You go over to history, select it. 
it's going to give you several choices of history. So pending right now, like I mentioned before, I got roughly about $35 to, uh, deposited the um, past couple of days to buy some more funds. You click on dividends. It'll show you your recent dividends. So I don't have too many dividend stocks right now because I've been buying and selling. And I've missed some of the ex-dividend dates, which I'll explain later on. NRZ, Verizon, older dividend uh, transactions, colonial credit, real estate, realty income, again, Verizon. So that's kind of the down and dirty of Robinhood. Again, it's very simple to just to buy and sell stocks. However, if you're wanting to do more research or get more information on particular companies, I suggest using other companies. As always, thanks for watching the video. Hit that like button. Throw some comments if you like Robinhood, if you don't like Robinhood, your experience with Robinhood. We'd love to hear from you. And as always, please hit that subscribe button to help us with the channel and to produce more videos um, to share our passion of investments and finances and things we learn along the way. That's all, folks.